You have arrived, said the GPS. As my work associate, the GPS saved me lots of headaches and got me out of logistical predicaments daily. The least she deserved was a name, so I called her Gladys, as in Gladys, the professional speaker. I have? I questioned Gladys's wisdom often, even though she's usually right. It was lonely in the car all day. I was on a two-lane road in a thickly wooded area, and daylight was waning. There were no buildings in sight. I slowed, and that's when I saw the dirt road to the left. Wisteria vines curled through the trees overhead that were just sprouting the tiny green buds of mid-March. A squat wooden sign stood at the shoulder of the road, blending in with the tree trunks. Lula's locks was burned into it with fancy lettering. It was quaint, but almost totally camouflaged by its woodsy surroundings. I took a left and headed through the trees. Due to my job, my little master was familiar with dirt roads in Alabama. Her shocks and struts were going fast, squeaking and chirping over every speed bump and pothole, even though I kept shelling out good money to have them fixed. Like Gladys, the Mazda also had a name. I'd learned about it at dinner a few months ago, when Evan had blurted, When I get my license, are you going to get a new car and make me drive Delfina to school? Sam and I had blinked at him. What's Delfina? I asked. Your car, Evan said, turning pink. Why does it have to sound like a dolphin in mating season? Besides wondering why he had speculated on what mating dolphins sounded like, I was sorry he'd been embarrassed of my car. But then again, a little humility was sometimes good for the teenage soul. That's when I realized that my primary work associate had remained nameless all these years. She might not be the prettiest or quietest vehicle I'd ever owned, but as my office on wheels, we'd been through a lot together. Dolphina, it was. The dirt road rounded to the left, and I bounced through a rut and slid a bit in the gravel. The vines made a canopy over the open space of the road, framing my view of the curving path like lacy edging. I pictured it in the early morning with the sun shining through the leaves, dappling the road with bright spots under the shady, cool trees. I leaned forward and looked up, wondering if there were wild muscadine vines up there entangled with the wisteria. And that's when I almost ran over the body.